Hello everyone, welcome to the CEC channel. As many of you would already know, the Rico Pro C7500 is our five color cut sheet production printer. For the fifth color, we've got seven colors for you to choose from with white being the most popular due to the wide range of applications made available through this color. With its popularity, we often get questions regarding artwork creation and working with the white toner. So in this video, I'm going to show you a few common print applications as well as the techniques used in order to achieve the desired effect. We just printed this and as you can see, it is hard to see the content or details due to how dark the media is. However, we can fix this by adding white. When designing for printing with white, there are three things that need to be considered. Firstly, whether white has been set as a spot color. Secondly, whether overprinting is required. And finally, the spot color print order. First, to set white as a spot color, go to the swatches tab and create a new swatch color. Name it white with a capital W and set the color to whatever you want as this will help you to visualize where white would appear. After that, duplicate the details of your artwork and set the color to white which you just created. Also, don't forget to enable overprint fill. So what is overprint fill and why is it important? Without overprint, the printer will print only the color on the uppermost layer. So if, for example, we have a layer of white under a color, the printer will only print the color while ignoring the white. This is why we want to select overprint fill. You can preview the result after applying the white layer by going to the View tab and clicking on Overprint Preview. This gives you a preview of the effect that you will be getting after printing. After finishing the artwork, let's export the file as a PDF so that we can print the new artwork with white toner. Don't forget your bleed and trim marks if necessary. Finally, the positioning of the white toner in the printer is also important. Depending on the media, we will select the position accordingly. The C7500 allows users to either print white first or last, and in our case, we want to print white first before CMYK. When printing on metallic or colored paper, white toner can make or break your result. Let's look at four different ways to print white on this metallic blue, and what happens if you don't set it up right. The first sample was printed without any white toner. Notice how the colors look dull and hard to see? That's because the content is sitting directly on the dark background. As you can see, this card shows only white because the white was printed on top after the CMYK colors. It covers the artwork and blocks everything underneath even with overprint fill enabled. Now, we have white printed first, but the file wasn't set to overprint. The printer ignores the colors below and we lose some detail from the artwork. Finally, with white printed first and overprint enabled, the white acts as a base layer boosting the color vibrancy while preserving the design perfectly. This is the result we're looking for. White toner can be used for many print applications. We recommend printing white on dark media or foil board to enhance your designs. We have a few samples to show you. This is a modern wedding invitation card where the bride and groom were captured by backlit photography. Printing white on black media helps create a contrast and complements the effect of the photo. This is packaging that has been printed on foil board. White has been added to emphasize certain areas for added clarity. And here's another invitation card printed on craft board. It looks good but we can make it even better by applying white toner to the text as well as animals using techniques described above. The addition of white helps create more pop and adds value to the printout. I hope this video helps you when working with the white toner. If you have any ideas or interesting print applications that could benefit from the white toner, let us know in the comment section and we'll try to create them here in the CEC. If you find content like this beneficial and would like to see more, give this video a like and remember to subscribe and hit the notification bell to be notified when a new video drops. Well, that's it for today. See you soon.